Uh, Cameron's going to be here after 8 o'clock this morning as well. We're going to bring you an inspirational little boy now, a story about him whose passion for the planet has seen him dubbed the next David Attenborough. You might remember a year ago we spoke with seven-year-old budding conservationist Anishwa about his mission to raise awareness of wildlife and nature one YouTube video at a time. Well, now he's moved from social media to the stage, earning a standing ovation on Britain's Got Talent uh, for his poem about the environment. Let's have a look. We've been getting it wrong for much, much, much too long. Cutting down trees, polluting the seas, poaching the animals for accessories. We need to stop getting it wrong. I wish you could see the Tasmanian tiger in its very special, unique attire. The bats and the flying squirrels glide in the open sky and we can catch the beauty forever in our eyes. The gorgeous peacocks stand stairway. The fantastic golden eagles glide in display. But there's no other planet like Earth. Well done. Well done. This is the start of something very special, Nishwa, and it's a huge honour to give you your first yes. Okay. I say yes. It's a yes from me. Thank you so much. And you got four yeses. Oh, Anish Ward, his dad, and he'll join us now. Good morning to you. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. What was it like watching that again? I felt really amazing. I felt really happy. I just can't really say how happy I am that <laughs> I got four yeses. I'm happy that I spread the awareness about the endangered animals to all these people. Was it? Were you nervous up there? On, on I know you're live on telly now, um, but in front of that huge crowd with the four judges, were you nervous at all doing that? No, I was really excited and a little bit nervous. <laughs> I think one would be a little bit nervous. I, w I wonder how your dad and the rest of the family feel. You, you must be so proud to see Anishwa up there doing that. Absolutely, yeah, we're really proud. Um, you know, it's, uh, he's seven-year-old, he's learning a lot. And, uh, you know, learning through this with the natural world and about the endangered animals to save about the planet is really, you know, we feel that really happy um, that he's learning through and he's having this journey, beautiful journey, where it's, uh, it's helpful for the world and also uh, he's learning a lot. That. And when did, can you remember, Anishwa, when did you first start worrying a little bit about the planet and the animals on the planet? Well, it was when I was, like, about four years old, when my teacher showed me a picture of a dead whale dying from plastic. Oh, dear. Because his tummy was filled with plastic and it reached all the way to its mouth. Yeah? He had what that. did you think when you saw it? I was like, like... I was thinking, like, oh, no, poor Will, I need to do something to stop all of that. And then you started doing your videos. Yeah. And now you've been on Britain's Got Talent. I mean... Country File and Oh, hello, now. more, there's more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and BBC Breakfast. Yeah, now. <laughs> and what... Uh, Anil, you must be... You know, obviously, you're proud, as you've explained this morning, but... You know, Anishwa potentially has something he could... He, people call him the next David Attenborough. This is something that could be his career going forward as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, so I, I think uh, this, is, this is something which is required for the world as well. Uh, if he's, he's figuring out that what he needs to do it as well. As I said, that it's a seven-year-old. He's figuring out that what he needs to do it. But he said that okay, he wants to save the you know, wildlife and also raise about the uh, conservation and the other things like that. He's figuring out that whether it's through paintings or through documentaries mm. or through, you know, uh, poetry. So, yeah, I think absolutely it's, it's, it's good to do that. I remember last time you were on the programme, you told us that one of your heroes was Steve Batchel, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I know you're going to meet Steve, aren't you? That's, that's the plan, and hopefully we'll, we'll be showing that on BBC Breakfast. But if you have a look at this screen over here, we've got a little message for Steve for you on the programme this morning, OK? Here's Steve with a message for you and Ishwa. Have a look. Anishwa, hi, it's me, Stevie B, and my pal, 
Fergal Sharkey. We just wanted to get in touch to say that we've seen you on Britain's Got Talent and it is the most inspiring thing. If I'm honest, it made me want to cry crocodile tears. What about you? Yeah, I'm guessing he felt exactly the same. As you know, I can't be with you right now to celebrate your incredible successes because I am on tour at theatres like this one here. I would, though, obviously much rather be there with you talking about animals and the environment because that is my passion as it is yours. But all I can say is keep doing what you're doing. Keep fighting the good fight because you are jawsome. I'm sorry about that one. Anyway, I'm very much looking forward to seeing you very, very soon. Uh, I understand we're going to be meeting up uh, before you know it. And until then, all the very best from me, Stevie B. Thank you, Steve Backshaw. Oh, <laughs> what's it like getting a message from your hero? Yeah, I felt really amazing. <laughs> and I know you, are you, are you going back to school today as well. I mean, what, what's your yeah. teacher and your classmates going to say about all this? I'm really sure they're going to say, well done, Anish. I'm happy that you've been on BBC Breakfast. <laughs> and do you feel like people are listening to you a little bit more? Because that poem was so powerful mm. and all your friends coming on, it really made that message strong, didn't it? Yeah. I'm really sure everybody who was watching that really understood what I mean. Do you think, I know you're only seven years old, maybe your dad can jump in on this as well, but are you having sort of other conversations with people? Do you think people are talking more about the environment and about animals that they're worried about now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Like, I'm talking a lot about the animals because I really am worried about them. And I'm really sure that everyone else would understand what I mean and they'll also try and help the environment and the animals, just like I'm doing. Well, what you're doing is amazing. We wish you the best of luck in the next round of Britain's Got Talent. And I absolutely love your T-shirt. It's Thank got all you. the right pictures on the front. It's lovely to see you this morning. And uh, I can see, it's lovely to watch your dad watching you, looking so proud <laughs> of you as you're, you're speaking live on, on TV. And um, as uh, Nina says, all the best as Britain's Got Talent goes forward as well. Thank you very much for being on the sofa this morning. Lovely to see you both. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for inviting us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for saying that to me. Oh, well, thank you for saying that to us. <laughs> this could go on for a while. No, thank you. <laughs> you can hang around as long as you like. All right? um, stay with us. We've got the headlines coming up soon. <laughs> Over the next seven years, this ambitious series.